what's going on guys uh, another week uh, another list uh, this time it's gonna be a little different uh, we're adding Grant to the mix to everybody um, we decided to add him just because why not man he's part of the group and we wanted his opinion on his songs just so we can get more songs out there for you guys to listen to uh, and without further ado uh, let me get my first pick going <laughs> And at number one this week, we got Escape by Kevin McGuire. Uh, I love the acoustic guitar with Kevin's voice. Uh, there's also a banjo in each at the end of each chorus that adds a nice country feel to it. Uh, the chorus is pretty simple, but effective in telling you what the song's about. Um, because it's about, um, even though like you go through these, like you try and run away and you try and do all these things, like the love will never leave, leave between you two. Uh, and it's hopefully never going to go away forever. Uh, I found this song last week too, but I, I found this song later in the week, so I wanted to put it for this week. Uh, but I really love Kevin's voice here. Uh, and let's see what Brett's got for his number one. My first choice this week is Forever Stuck in Our Youth by a band called Set It Off. Um, I talked about them last week. This is an older song, but uh, when Elsewhere came out, I really got into a lot of their other stuff. And this is one that, this is probably my favorite song that I've heard from them, honestly. The uh, the intro, it's, it's got a nice guitar part. The chorus to it is really catchy. The part at the end where he like screams the chorus uh, fantastic. Overall, it's just a really, really, really good song, a catchy song, one of my favorites from them, and it's my first pick for the week. And at number two this week, we got noticed by Mayday Parade. Uh, I'm seeing them next Tuesday. I'm really excited about it. I uh, bought the concert tickets in January. I'm so hyped. Um, my favorite song on the album, in my opinion. Uh, but the but the guitar riff in the beginning of the song is really, really nice. Um, there's a great crescendo into each chorus where Derek really sings his heart out, hoping that a girl hears this song that he wrote about her. Uh, there's also a guitar solo at the end of each chorus, which is really nice as well. Uh, the song just flows really well. Um, and yeah, let's see what Brett's got for his number two. Maybe if I had something to say, butterfly effect from the last three days now. Maybe if I had something to say, I used to have a soul until I threw it away. The shadows on the wall, wish I would have read. All right, I'm fully prepared to get roasted for this one. And honestly, I don't really care. My second pick for the week is Maybe by Machine Gun Kelly featuring Bring Me the Horizon. I think the guitar part on the intro to the song is fantastic. It's really catchy. Uh, the chorus, it's really catchy. I think Machine Gun Kelly and Ollie Sykes' voices go well together. Um, I don't love screaming music, so I don't love the part where, they're, where Ollie Sykes is screaming, but that, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, I know this is controversial, but I think what Machine Gun Kelly's doing is great for the genre of pop punk. Uh, more people are getting exposed to the sound, and they're finding other pop punk bands. And I know a lot of people don't like Machine Gun Kelly and all this, blah, blah, blah. I, I like him. I, I don't really care. I know it's controversial, but I stand by my own opinion. I like his, like his pop punk music. So, Rosie, if you want to, I don't care. Maybe my Machine Gun Kelly is my second song. And at number three this week, we got Violet by Days to Waste. Um, his voice is just fantastic, for starters. Um, it sounds kind of like a rap song, but his melodies and his um, voice throughout the song really adds more of a poppy sound to it. Uh, he shows great range throughout the song as well, with just a drum beat as his background noise. So with just that background noise, he's able to play around with his vocal range and really just 
sing his heart out throughout the whole song um, and just have a great time doing it. Um, he's one of the lower, like not as noticeable names out there. Um, I found him through another artist that I will bring up in a minute. Um, through them, I really branched my music variety out and like, I love this guy. I think he's great and I can't wait for him to make more music. Uh, let's see what Brett has for his number three. My third song of the week is Everybody But You by State Champs featuring Ben Barlow from Nick Deep. Um, this is a fantastic song. It came out a couple weeks back. Uh, it's a single off of their new album that's coming out in May called Kings of the New Age. Um, yeah, this is another another pop punk song for me. I know, shocker. Um, it's really catchy. I like their again. I think their voices fit really well together. Um, I'm not a huge Neck Deep fan, but I do like Ben Marlowe's vocals in this song. Uh, it's a big, huge chorus. Uh, yeah, overall a catchy one. One I keep coming back to, and I'm excited for the new project. Uh, yeah. This is typical. So and at number four this week we got useless 2.0 by brandon ross uh i found this guy on tiktok uh and i really loved his voice so i so i kind of dove more into him uh looked through more of his songs and through him i found days to waste because through because of another song that he made days to waste featured in it uh, and i really liked how they paired with each other uh, but with this song, uh, he uses some auto-tune, which he doesn't really need because he is that great of a singer. Uh, but all of his songs kind of get you in your feels, and this is one of his newer ones, and it kind of hit home for me because, I don't know, I just really like this song. Um, but his voice is fantastic. Um, it's it, it's a great vibe song, and that's why it's my number four. Uh, let's see what Brett has for his number four. All right, shockingly again, I picked another pop punk song. Uh, this one is Hair Out by Stand Atlantic. Uh, another one that came out a couple weeks back. Uh, this chorus is just, it's so catchy. Bonnie's vocals sound fantastic. And it makes me excited for their new album. Um, I hadn't been loving all of the singles that they had been releasing. I didn't really love Molotov. Uh, but this one got me right back on board. And I'm excited to hear what they come out with on their album, Fuck Everything and Run. Uh, I'm pretty sure it comes out also in May. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see where it goes. This is another great song. Item number five this week, we got Godspeed by Young Uh, I know Brett had Hum on his last week, and I love that song. I think that's great. Uh, but I found this one on the same EP, and I love this one as well. I think it's pretty much on par with it. Uh, there's a great crescendo into the chorus. Uh, there's his there the guitar parts throughout the song are fantastic with little drum lines throughout each verse, which is really cool. Uh, his voice just works with their style of music, uh, and there it's just a great musical song that you can just rock out to in the middle of the summer or any time of the year uh it's really just a nice song overall uh and let's see what brett has for his number five so my final pick of the week is she's all i want to be by tate mccray um this one kind of stuck out on me because i Honestly, I've not been a huge fan of anything up until this point that Tate McRae has put out. Uh, I really didn't like You Broke Me First, and everything else I heard from her has just been okay. But this one, I heard people talking, and they were like, uh, Tate McRae made a really, really good song. Tate McRae made a really good song, and I listened to it, and yeah, Tate McRae made a really, really good song. Uh, it's really catchy. Again, I love guitar parts and introduction. This one brings it with that. It brings it with a strong chorus. 
It's catchy, and I'm impressed. I gotta say, I am impressed by this song by Tate McRae. Um, maybe she'll come out with something else that's fantastic. Am I holding my breath? No, but if this is a fluke, this is a pretty damn good fluke. And uh, this is my last song of the week. Hey everyone, I'm Grant. I'm new to the channel. Um, I'm here reviewing my top five songs of the week. So let's get started at, started at number one uh, with Cool Girl by Sea Salt. I love this song. It's a great summery song, especially with the windows down. In the sunshine, sun, sunglasses on, sunroof open. You're just cruising along. And it's just a great song to bop to. You know, I'm really feeling this song. I love it. It was recommended to me by someone else. So now I'm recommending it to you because you're awesome as well. All right. Up on number two, we got Dream by Salvia Palf. I think that's how you say it. Not really sure. These guys are super dope. They make all their music on this hallucinogenic drug called Salvia. It's like a tea sort of thing, a herbal thing. Um, and this is just an instrumental. It's very flowy. Uh, it's a really reflective sort of song if you want to drive at night um, by yourself and you're just thinking about stuff that's going on in your life. It's just a great song to kind of just vibe with in that sort of sense. So I've been doing that a lot lately, and it's just been something I've really liked. Uh, coming up at number three, we got Much After Feeling by Turnover. I love Turnover, like one of the greatest bands ever, in my opinion. My very humble, awesome opinion. <laughs> um, this song's really boppy. It's kind of got like a dream pop vibe to it. Um, the chorus is super great. It's easy to vibe with, um, with anybody really. Um, you know, it's very summery. It's very poppy. It's a song you listen to if you're the kind of person that wears a bunch of colors and isn't very plain and boring. Um, but also want to break out of your shell. Maybe if you are a little bit boring, um, it's a great song to just throw on, on a road trip. Uh, it's just fantastic. Turnover, best band ever in my opinion and i would die to go see them like in life it's just awesome all right anyway number four we got tous les mêmes by strome i love french music it's a french song um i really like the meaning behind this song so the artist strome is bisexual um and he kind of talks about these issues throughout his music and issues he has in his personal life like with his dad and all this other stuff and this is a song about like well, which side do I feel? Do I feel more masculine or more feminine? Or does it even really matter? Um, the song translates to basically like we are them, which is pretty cool. Um, and the music video slaps. Even if you don't listen to French music, don't know what the hell's going on when you're listening to it. Don't worry about it. Listen to the music video. Just watch it. It'll change your life. It's just choreographed so well. The dance is kind of funny, but it's awesome. And man, if you throw this up on a party, I'm doing this dance in the dance floor and I'm getting everybody dancing. That's just this song right here. It's just awesome. All right, number five, we got Pretty Little Lies by Marco Luca. I actually even discovered this song through Snapchat. It was just an ad that kept coming up and I was like, you know what? I might as well check this song out. And I actually really like this song. Um, I throw it up in the car and now I know every word to this song. <laughs> and... Man, it's great. The lyrics and how it flows with the beat. I love it. Um, it's a very catchy song. It's kind of like Sunday Best by uh, Surfaces, I think is their name. Um, and they're a really good band as well. But it's kind of got that sort of really catchy tune to it. So you can really vibe with the song. You can, you can get with it. And it's really easy to learn the lyrics and all that stuff too. So those are my top five songs for the week. Um... I've been listening to a lot more, let me tell you. Um, but I guess you'll just have to tune in to next week for all of our top five songs as well. Uh, and then you can get to know our playlist a little bit better. Maybe we can freshen up your playlist a little bit. Well, thanks for listening. I appreciate it. Again, my name's Grant. And peace out, ladies and gents, and everyone in between. <laughs> Later. <laughs>